Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Resident Evil uh, Jill's Playthrough Part 2. Last week, we survived Yawn without saving. Uh, uh, we're playing the original Resident Evil 1. Uh, no auto-aim, less ammo, well, at least less ink ribbons, that, that much I'm sure of. And uh, we're at the guardhouse now. And... Who was the boss here? Yeah, Plan 42 or 43? 42, I think. 43 was in Resident Evil 2. And let's begin. One save so far. And a lot of health. And ammo. Ammo too, yeah. So I switched to using just the shotgun. I have some uh, pistol ammo, but... You know, we're at the point where we can be really relaxed with our shotgun. I'm also going to get uh, the bazooka, oh, acid rounds, waste them on the, yeah, okay, why not. I made a mistake last week when I didn't empty my explosive rounds uh, on regular zombies, like in close quarters or whatever, and uh, instead had to fight Yon with the uh, explosive rounds, which is not not good. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I'll also bring a blue herb, just in case, because I know there's going to be spiders, and those bastards can really, they can poison you, and, you know, it slowly drains your health, and we don't want to get through that, so I think I'm ready. Is there any key items maybe I should have brought? Let's see. Hmm. All right, all right. Oh yeah, these two. I think I'm gonna need the C room key. But I'm gonna leave three inventory spaces. Actually, what the hell? I'll bring it with me. I know I'll need it somewhere in the house later. It's been a long time. The scary door. All right. So. Is this where I want to go? I think it is. The billiards room? Oh, I don't even have a map yet. That's right. Can't remember where the map is here in the guardhouse, but I'm sure we'll find it. The scary door. Oh, shit. There they are. Okay, I have a blue herb, and just in case, I need to make him fall next to me. Ah, miss with it with an acid round. Okay, two hits. Okay, that one's dead. Can I? Yeah, I can survive for a while. So it's a good thing I brought a uh a blue herb. Spiders. So if spiders are this annoying without the auto aim. Oh, that was easy. I wonder what the hunters are gonna be like. I don't want to find out. Honestly, I don't. But and i think as long as i don't kill them with explosive rounds or like with the shotgun or something that you know shatters them to pieces uh i should i should be free of the little tarantula babies i'm not even sure sure if these are tarantulas we just call them tarantulas everybody called them tarantulas all right ink ribbon two of them it's a good thing we don't save often. There's another clip. Not that we're using that, but why not? I might use it on some zombies when I'm sure there's just a zombie there and no no hunters, no Cerberi, no nothing. Nothing else. Just two spiders? Okay. Okay, what's this? A pinball machine. It's broken. Why is it standing there if it's broken? Or did a zombie try to <laughs> play some pinball and then just... <laughs> he was a zombie, so he just went... Aah! And broke it. Okay. Should be a ridiculous puzzle. Looks like a clock dial, some kind of a code. Okay, what's the code? A three ball. A six. Oh, okay. So if that's six, and that's um, that's nine, 
So that means that 12 is up here. And what time is that? 2.45? I'm sorry, 3.45? No, 55? 3.50? 3.55? Something like that? I'm not even sure which which hands of the stick are the should be the clock hands. If it's not if it's not 355, it's gonna be what would the other two be? I guess that one's long. Oh I see. Okay, this one's longer, so it's nine. Actually, five forty-five. Yeah, I'll try some things. I think in the director's cut uh, version, this puzzle was more straightforward. Right. If I remember correctly, just straight out spells the num spells out the numbers for you. So, what were the options? Nine fifty-five, nine fifty, or four fifty-five, four fifty? Actually, no, that would be four forty-five. Jesus. Okay. I guess some guessing is due. <laughs> Let's leave the bazooka. I don't think I'll need it here. And bring some health, definitely. Not going to load it. Till I'm sure, like, what do I want to load it with? Oh, yeah, no combining. You have to combine them in the inventory. Yeah, I also have the ink ribbon. Nah. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. That goes there, and this goes here. So it can become 13. Control room key, we're gonna take some health. How many do I, of these do I have? One, two, three. So four with red, one of them is even with blue, and this one's blue-green, I guess. Lots of green and blue. Let's mix a blue-green. I think there's gonna be more spiders. Is that enough? No, that's just too blue. That's not gonna <laughs> that's not gonna heal anything but poison. Should I bring a red one? I think I'll find more herbs there. Mix them, all right. Just a shotgun, I'm gonna go with just a shotgun, I guess. Huh. Now it's getting more scarier because, you know, the further we go, the less I remember. It's easy because a lot of times I was running around the first part of the game, uh, the mansion. And although I did uh, beat this game with Jill countless times, it's still it's not fresh in my memory. So I'm expecting to run across Barry fighting with his sandwich. Do I want to go here? Well, they weren't fighting; they were arguing. Oh, the horn room. Let's try the code. Yeah, it's locked. So, what were the options? Five, five, nine, fifty-five. I think it was the the. Let's try. Four, fifty-five. Yeah, it has to be. No. Does it reset? I'm not sure if it reset now. <laughs> nine fifty-five. I don't see a zero, so nope. Well, I can also try guessing it. I just need to fill all the, all right, this, then this, then let's say this. Yeah, that does work. <laughs> okay, nope. Does it reset? Let's see. Yep, it resets. Uh, what could the code be? What was the other choice? 455. Uh, 
445. Nope. At least that did something. Maybe it's not even a clock puzzle. <laughs> Maybe it's just a trick. Oh, jeez. Ah. Nope. Oh, well, let's try something with the clock. Um, I'm gonna go 315. That was close. Remember it being something 50, maybe something 15, not like 915. Let's see, that makes sense in a way. No. Hmm. You want to try it? Yep. Thank you. Okay, let's see Sasha try it. Maybe she has more luck just figuring it out. Come on, Sasha. Yeah. Oh. It's something with the clock, like 315. Oh, the, uh -huh. okay. Yeah, no, no analog sticks here. <laughs> yep. They didn't invent, it, invent them yet, at least not for Sony. <laughs> See, I know what each of them does. Oh, that's close. Well, or maybe not. The nine? No. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry? I mean, somewhere there. I think when I played this version of Resident Evil as a kid, I guessed this. Because I just randomly punched in keys and things happened. Yeah. <laughs> We could always go online. It's the yep. <laughs> it's the uh, 21st century, I so we can it. do that. I did it. I did it. I did it. Wow, I you! Did it. <laughs> I missed. I completely missed that because I was busy talking to myself. All right, way to go, Sasha. <laughs> way to go, Sasha. Did it without any clue. <laughs> As I was about to cheat, she did it. Okay, lots of bottles. I remember this, and this is one of those instances where. Even though, like, un until I read the file that's going to explain what these mean, what these writings here mean, and uh, the items that I need co to collect, she's not going to know what to do with them. She's going to be like, you can't do that. I think it also works for this password, but I'm not sure. It's been a long time. I keep saying that it's been a long it's been 20 years. That's a long time to not play a game. <laughs> and then just play it out of blue. There's nothing here. Are there hornets here or did they imagine them? Oh yeah. So I just I guess I just run, grab the key and rah, and run for my life. Dormitory key. Okay. Is there anything else here? No. Run! Oh fucking hornets. I don't like them in real life. Uh, I could have went into that door, but <laughs> I don't like them in well in games they're less ha harmful. They're just they're just harmful to my character. Okay. Let's check the key. Spin it around and double O two. Need to find the double O two doors. Run, Jill, run. 003, okay. I wonder if there was something there. And where the hell is Matt? Won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side. Yeah, that's plant 42 just feeding itself at the moment. And we'll find a file later that explains that it evolved evolved enough to do that to actually block the doors while eating, so it's so nobody can disturb it. 
smart little bugger. Okay, uh, I think the map's here and also a bunch of coordinates. No? Still can't figure out what was in the remake and what's here. Orbs, okay. I'll quickly nip on back to the safe room and I just stock these. Stock them good. So many green herbs in this house, in this whole estate. I mean, it raises so many questions. I believe the map will be in the 002 room. Let's not open it yet. Instead, I'm going to go and drop these herbs off. Oh yeah, we have the Neptune, the giant shark, waiting for us at the basement. So let's just try and... I think I can, like, in this version you don't even have to fight it. In the remake, it's very possible that either Neptune or little Neptune babies uh, will nib on you, but these, I think these are a way easier to avoid generally green 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 okay more green and now blue something i don't think anything poison is going to be there so i'm gonna getting brave by the minute it's always the scariest when you start these games or what do i do it's scary but then it, just, then it just gets easier and easier. So I'll bring two blue ones. I'm saving the red ones for... I don't know why. I'll probably have a bunch of them by the end. So, But it's a habit. Better save than sorry. Okay. I don't think I'll need the bazooka. I mean, time will tell. If I need it, we'll know. Hopefully we're not going to see that game over screen. All right. Run, Jill. No, not, don't run there. Run in there and don't push that. So I pushed that statue there because there's a hole in the, in the floor, in the floorboards. And if I pass there, um, a, a vine of uh, plant 42 will just um, grab me around the neck and just strangulate for a bit. It's its weight of saying hi, probably. But we don't love that. So thank you, Azarelina. <laughs> All right, where's the map? This key is useless. Discard? <laughs> I love how short they keep that. Key useless, discard. Another scary door. I love this music. I think there's going to be a guy here. Either here or in room 003, there's going to be a zombie, like, in my face. Yep, it's this one. It's not that in my face, but still. A poo! There you go. More clips. Pretty useless at this point, but... If there are some, like, non-zombies that are not in my face, no water's left. You can take a bath here, Jill. Also... Where's the boiler for this room? Like if they have a, an outside boiler for the for the main mansion, where's the one for this for the whole dormitories? For a long time. Is that longer than they became zombies? Nothing here. Okay. An important point is to remember to bring the bazooka loaded with uh, flammable rounds. When we get to, oh, there's the map. When we get to plant 42, because that's its one weakness fire. Map of the dormitory, aka the guardhouse. So, so I love how I keep getting maps just like second before, um, before exploring the, the entirety of the floor or house. But yeah, we also have the basement, which is not huge, but there are some things to do down there. Plan 42 report. There it is. So it says, Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than the other plants have been, and shows unique shape in addition to its size. 
looking at the way it behaves, it's now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. Well, it was probably the one of those green herbs that you keep around the house. Or I think <laughs> I just remind me of the scary movie to scene where the plant rolls shorty. <laughs> so maybe it's that kind of plant. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that it re that reaches into the basement. Important. Immediately after the accident, the scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. Uh, logically. <laughs> it is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and, prom that, and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another pa part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood, blah, blah, uh, using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. S sleeping. <laughs> Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Victims. May 21st, Harry Sarden. That's all we know about Harry. Poor Harry. Okay. Oh, there's something else here? No, it's just a shadow. So I'm not going to go down there. I'm going to drop the clip and... i got to say, it's... Ooh, a desk is locked. Yes. My master of unlocking skills are shining ever so brightly. 40 to 45 shotgun shells. That's that's very comfortable. That's like you can relax, just walk around, shoot blindly. Whenever you hear some noise, just do some suppressing fire. Alright. Run back to the storage. Or the safe house. All right. Another spooky music tune. I'm not sure if I unlocked the desk in the first uh, dormitory room, like the first bedroom, the 001 room, I guess. So I'm going to check that. Also, it's sometimes I think about it like, if this was the dormitory for the scientists and the guards, and there are only three bedrooms. Okay, I imagine some of them slept in in the mansion, but there are there are very few rooms in the mansion that actually have beds unless they were using sofas and stuff. So I always I always imagine like two guards or scientists sharing a bed, one of them sleeping in the tub. They had a crazy party in the billiard room the night before. And then one of them said, blur. And that's when shit hit the fan. I think there was the, yeah, the, it was the, the ink ribbon. I remember now. All right. Come on, move your butt, Jill. Oh, those should be vines, I guess. Little gray things uh, hanging from the... Actually, they're not hanging. They're more like stuck to the walls. 002 room. Okay. Let's push these bastards. My, how, what well-conceived ladder. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Well, there's no other choice if we want to get out of the house. Oh, that is, I mean, all of the music in this game is amazing, but this is, I love this tune. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah. like playing this game after playing the remake so many times I just notice how 
shorter this game is. I mean, of course they they did that. Well, in my eyes, quite a lot to the remake. There's the graveyard uh, behind the mansion. There's the gra the the foresty area. I guess around the corner of the mansion. I don't remember exactly. I think somewhere on the west and north of the mansion. And there's an additional floor in in this basement where. Oh no, that's not how I did. Um, where the place where I'm pushing this box is now the the little pool of water. In the remake, it actually can, you know, when you drain the water, you can go, you can be beneath that hole, so to say. Okay. I could have messed that puzzle up if only I had, like if I had pushed it all the way to the end, I would have to reset the whole room. Push, Jill, you're also the master of pushing. My, what does that UMB mean on that box? Well, I am perplexed. Come on, Jill, you can do it. No, just keep going. Come on. All right. Now into the hole with you. What was this? I always wonder what was here. Like, what was the bridge before the boxes? Oh yeah, Neptune's cheese. Okay, let's bring more herbs when they're offering them. I have the control room key and I'll check the map just to make sure where the control room is. And in case a Neptune eat my hair leg, I'm gonna I'm just gonna roll some herbs. Well I have two already rolled up here, so Ooh. let's check the map. Whew, so the door that I'm looking for, I think it's the left door. Maybe maybe try both. So it's definitely not. So it's one of those on the left. Yeah, I'll try both. I think I'll have that much time. Even if I die, I haven't gone too far from my last save. Run! Oh yeah, it's not gonna do anything be before the cutscene. Run, 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 run. I mean, sw run. Swim and run. Yep, there it is. Okay. That was a late cutscene. Blah, 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 blah. Run! Oh, jeez, there's no keyhole. No, run! I have used the C-Room key. I will now slowly discard the key as the giant shark is preying upon me. Because I have balls of steel or some other hardy alloy. Okay, the red button is flashing, I mean the light. Okay, move it. Now they're going to be ridiculously easy, like I could kill them with a single Pistol round, each one of them. There's three, three, two or three of them. Mama shark and one or two baby sharks. So that's all they had to do, and nobody was able to do it. There's a button. Will you push it? There was a sound from the room next door. Ooh, nothing special. So this is one of this is one of the places when you check something, she just stops. Usually she's just frozen in the animation where you're checking whatever you're checking. There's nothing else in this room for me to demonstrate that, but anybody who's played old school Resident Evil games knows that. Okay. So nothing else here. Are we sure? Nothing in these cupboards or whatever they are? Nothing, nothing in the walls? Nothing special? You know, there might be some cookies there, but they're not special, so she doesn't want them. The X door. Yeah, they're just flopping around now. Somewhere in the room. Yeah, there's three of them. Do I want to waste? Yeah, let's waste these three bullets, because why not? 
Pakaram. That's the last we'll hear from you. Can I get both at the same time? Yeah, bullet saved. Always a good thing. I feel bad for them. I'm not sure if they were mutated or just like regular sharks. <laughs> Umbrella seems to have had one scary animal. <laughs> like they didn't have a whole, I don't know, array of sharks or whatever. Just like one shark, like two babies will do for our experiments. When that dies, we'll just import new sharks. It's not that it's not like anybody wants sharks. <laughs> They're all wet and useless. Quiet. <laughs> Ooh, will you take the dormitory key? Who would leave their door? I don't know. Maybe there was some keys. Some keys are just at the, at weird a weird lost. Yeah, there was a party and they were like, yeah, go get some beers from the storage. And uh, that, that guy ultimately forgot his dormitory key. This is 003, I think. Yep. Three rooms, 50 staff members. That's some umbrella magic. I'm sorry, I just <laughs> I can't leave that alone. Is everything wet and useless? No shotgun shells, no bazooka slash gray launcher rounds, nothing. Everything's wet and useless except the three things that we needed. Well, one that we needed and two that were optional. All right. So that's it. We're done with this. We have just one room. And over there. Oh, I love when she reloads the shotgun, but I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. I don't, there's nothing here, but I'll forget. And when something does attack, I'll be like, whoa, what do I do? Well, actually, I'll know what to do. Just wait for the reload animation. There's the root of the plant. It looks like a plant root. No shit, Sherlock. Ooh, are these gourds or like bags? Where are they? they? They're bags, I think. There's a bag here. Nothing useful inside. Okay. At least I guess it's a bag. So this is, we need to kill this in order to make the boss a lot easier. I, at least I think, I, I seem to remember that maybe even harder, because I know that if you don't touch the root, I forgot again, but this is how I think it went. You can either poison the root or not poison it and just go fight the plant. And in one of those scenarios, Barry swoops in. You, you, Jill gets captured by the huge plant and Barry just swoops in and burns it with a flamethrower that you, as I remember, don't find with Jill, just with Chris. But Barry seems to have found it. And uh, in the other scenario, there's, well, it's different. You actually have to fight the plant. And I seem to remember that the first few times I didn't even poison the, the root, I just went with, uh, just went to kill it. And I think that's when Barry saves you. It kind of seems to me that the worse you play in Jill playthrough, the more help you get from Barry. He's always there when we need him. Good old Barry. Climb that ladder. The spookiness is overwhelming. Uh, you can respond, just tell them that I'm streaming now. For an hour-ish or so, I'm not sure. All right, where do we go? Go back to the safe room, dump those clips. Maybe there's going to be a zombie or two in the basement of the house, but it's just silly. Like if I really want to prove something, I'll bring the clips. And look how many bullets I have now. It's ridiculous. 
I mean, of course, you know, the first time you're playing, you're really low on ammo, so you're really grateful for these. But right here, they're just useless. Okay, let's dump these herbs. Jill, if your colleagues uh, go through this chest, you're not gonna be a cop anymore. <sighs> yes, I guess I wanna leave them, I don't know, I just have... This is double green. Let's get a blue and green. I feel like I could be poisoned if I mess up, mess up the formula, which I shouldn't, but again, better safe than sorry. Four or five slots. I'm gonna come back here anyway. Okay, yeah, let's just leave all the herbs. Go all the way in. All the way in, Morty. All right. I think this game is largely responsible for my OCD tendencies. Because, you know, the, after the first two playthroughs, I realized I have to sort my shit. If I don't do that, I have no idea where, where's what. And then just I had this system where all the health items go. So the ink ribbons at the initial spot when you open the box, and all the health items go above the ink ribbon and all the ammo, all the weapons and ammo, and then the um, key items go beneath it. Yeah, I'll need that book as well. It's a good thing I remembered. I need the blank book in the for the next one. Come on. See when she even when she opens the box, she like starts opening it, and she's just frozen in the box. Just opens itself. Do, 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 do. I don't need the crank here, as far as I know. I don't need the lighter, right? Thing. Tweet. I'm not sure if I'll need the lighter again. Probably. That would be totally Resident Evil. But I'll just leave it for now. Would be awesome going from this to the remake to Resident Evil 7. Just going like doing the Resident Evil, the actual Resident Evil trilogy. Because our games are actually in, in a residence, in residences. Sneaking through doors. Let's use the 003 key. Yes, discard it. Why would you keep a key that you're somehow sure you won't need anymore? I mean, that's really helpful. I'm not against it. That's really helpful because I know, wow, I'm done with that key. That's all I'll need that key for in this life. <laughs> Somebody here? Hello, pizza delivery. Oh, nice corner. Okay, nothing. Good, let's check the bathroom. Maybe there's the guy I remember going straight into my face. Oh, there he is. And there are our first flame rounds. Sorry, man, you were in my way. And you would have chomped my neck, which... Jill is really against that. She doesn't like her neck being eaten. At least not by zombies. Nothing major about this. <laughs> really? <laughs> nothing major about it. Nothing special. So there was just one. Yeah, it hasn't been used in a while. Zombies don't really bathe. So the only bathtub here was the one at the first bedroom. And nothing else. We just got this. Well, I mean, that's not... Flame rounds are pretty useful, so I'm not against them. Can I open the desk? Yes, all of the desks are accessible for Jill. I mean, it's really punishing to have uh, Chris you know, to leave him, leave him without a lockpick. 
he has to carry the small keys and on top of that has two less inventory spaces just like if you really want to punish yourself play as chris one white book in a row of red books the Joel's report as i started stated as i stated in the last report there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus the tyrant we also have found another interesting fact through some experiments we found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in umb number 16. <laughs> creative naming one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than 5 seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put uh, V-Jolt directly in, on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB, <laughs> UMB UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt. But the UMP serious chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. I'm not sure, but I think this either poisons you or straight out kills you. I remember making a mistake once. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB serious chemicals that they're, and their brief characteristics. You know, you could have abbreviated UMB serious chemicals in like USC or whatever. So we have like a chart of these and we know that vjolt is number 16 and we need to get number 16 out of this and that's where the wall writings in the room which sasha kindly unlocked for us uh, are telling us okay a blank book yeah we already opened the blank book okay so we just use the blank book I hope I didn't just lock myself in, because then I'm pretty much screwed. Why would you lock yourself in? Because I know one door is locked when you unlock the others. Well, we'll find out right away. Okay. Ooh, I was scared there for a second. So it's the other door, I think. When you when you go through this door, the plant is on the other side, and um, you can also it'll lock behind you i love how i get focused on the game and just drop my thoughts <laughs> my verbal thoughts i can drop these but for now let's get all of the bottles come on shine okay one's there i think four spaces that's all we need so get all the empty bottles and then follow the formula not yet not yet jill don't be hasty there's another one here. Twinkles for me. Empty bottles. And there are two more. Okay. Okay, that's good as well. Now we see. Water 1, red 2, purple 3, green 4. And that's all it says. And this file says Vigil report. That's over here at the end. We have more here. Okay. Now I just need to follow the formula and probably should have written this down, but Nah, it's not that complicated. So let's follow the steps. Something is written on the wall. 1 plus 2 equals 3. No shit. <laughs> so we need water and red was 2, right? Yeah, I'm number 2. <laughs> I'm number 2. Um. Okay. Water, give me water. Will you put water in the empty bottle? Yes. So we have one and two, and now we make three. No, not check. Combine. We got NP003, which is purple. Then the next step says 
3 plus 4 equals 7. 7 is green. Uh, 4 is green, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, green 4. Where's green? There's, yeah, there we go. So we combine those two next. So 3 and 4, we get 7. We gotta be sure for we got U and B number number seven. Then the next step is two plus four equals six. Now we get another two and another four. That's two and that's four. And then combine those two, and then, if I remember correctly, combine six and seven together. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, we don't want to get poisoned, so two and four gives six. So we have six and seven, yellow number six. <laughs> See, whenever someone would mention the food coloring, like yellow number five or whatever, I always thought they were uh, referring to Resident Evil 1. <laughs> so we have... 7 and 6, we mix those, we get 13, and then we make another 3 and mix that, and that's it. Okay, so 6 and 7 give 13, and then we make another 3, which is water and red. So basically you just use two chemicals and water to do all this. It's a neat puzzle, it was especially at, you know, back in its time. Two and one. Got the water. It's good for hangovers. Two and one give us three. Three and thirteen give us Vigilt. There we go. Nobody's poisoned. Everyone alive. No, I don't want any more water. I think that's it for this room. There's nothing of interest here. No chemicals, nothing. Of all these bottles, we just used two. I mean, the ones on the shelf. And there are some jars with disturbing stuff over there. Like, it reminds me of the of Chief Brian's uh, secret room. His, <laughs> maybe I should even say Butcher House from Resident Evil 2. Okay, now we go poison the root. <laughs> We're not playing with Chris, so we're not getting to the root of the problem. Which is sad, really. I've only seen that cutscene once or twice. Is that where I'm going? Yep. Descend the ladder. Oh, that's nice. It rearranged the puzzle for me. I pushed that shelf over here and it actually showed me how I should have done it. I mean both ways work but I guess uh, that's the thing with resetting the items because like I said in my last episode it's it prevents you from getting like, totally blocked in uh, in a room or somewhere whatever and uh, prevents the game from being unfinishable. Let's dump this, let's jolt the plant, dump the, oh, that's nice, that's a nice detail that I just noticed, at least in this uh, decade. The mossy walls where the water was, that's really nice. Kudos to the arts team. Hello, root of the problem. I got something for you. <laughs> oh, that was left-handed. And she's like, oh man, that stinks. Yeah, it's gone. Poor root. It's done. Do -do -ti -do -ti -do. A 
Okay, before we go back to the plant, I'm gonna go get the bazooka and load it with loaded with uh, flammable rounds and just bring some let's say explosive for now. Gosh, should I use the, the acid ones on hunters? We'll see. Let's get to the hunters first and then we'll talk about that. There's a ladder. Will you climb it? Well, yeah. <laughs> I do this when I'm playing alone, like either way, I keep talking to the game. He that understands me. It's really smooth. Um, I mean, I expected it. Keep saying that, but I expected it to control a lot worse. Especially since I got a new PS1 controller. Well, the one I haven't used at all. I was waiting for the initial one uh, to wear out. And I just remember for this episode, why not uh, bust that out? And I can feel the difference. It's so much easier to go diagonally. So these are never to be used or seen again. We don't discard them for some reason, so we're just... Let's just put them all here. And then we'll put these, because we're not going to touch the, the bottles again at all. Pretty good with ink ribbon. I mean, I could, from this point to the end of the game, I could save every 15 to 30 minutes and still wouldn't run out of ink ribbon. Like I said, I want to see what would my best score be after so long. Yeah, load that bazooka that's unloadable if you make a mistake. Like if you want to load another type of rounds. Well, tough luck. Six acid. Eight. Explosive. Yeah, let's stick to the explosive ones. At least they're, they spread out, so it's easier. In that regard. I, I, I won't need the shotgun. At least I won't need the... Uh, the shells for now, so let's dump those. Acid, fire, they would be here. Clip, shotgun, shells. There we go. And get some health, just in case. The double green herbs, that'll do. Double green and blue green. Is this blue green? This is blue green. Just in case, I don't think it can poison me, but again, better safe than sorry. That's it. I'm ready. Am I? I am. Of course I am. I'm brave. All right. Loaded bazooka. Everything's ready. Got to double check my status. One, Jill. One. Is it there? Yep. Just around the corner. Okay, Jill. This is it. Oh, I have no auto aim. This is gonna maybe I should have brought more health. It would be tragic if it killed me now. Just pump that uh those shells uh flammable rounds into it. No diaries? I feel like I should have found another diary. Is this it? Nope. Nope. Whoo! Deep breaths. And we go in. I kind of feel like I could have forgotten something critical. Dance music. Oh yeah, I have to fight it. At all. Burn! Oh, why did it go through it? Get your tentacles away from me. It's done. So three rounds. One was wasted, but I'm not sorry. That was it. That's it. It just shriveled. I don't know. 
It's sad. Really sad. Oh well, that's life. Or unlife. Will you take the mansion key? Oh yes, I will. So we didn't get another cutscene with Barry saving Jill, but what kind of weird angle is that game? I want to see the fireplace. Was the key in the fireplace? On top of it? We shall not speak about that. And this is the helmet key, the last key we need for uh, the mansion, the main house. And this room is pretty useless. Just, just mild burns. If, if, it, if this were Chris, he would have just shrugged it off. If I get spanked by plants every day. That's it. Nothing else. Yep. What was this room? It looks like it was a um, like a living room, going both into a dormitory and see it's locked again. The door won't open, and I'll show you why it won't open. Why is it going both to the hall and the the bedroom? I mean, I'm asking so many questions, but like after uh, after years and years playing this, you kind of develop. Like I believe a lot of people who have played this in their childhoods or not even childhood, just when it came out that they think about like what was it like for the residents, what happened. See this this just pushed itself back to the, its original position. There's nothing we can do. These books are well arranged. We don't give a fuck about them right now because we killed the plant and got the key. And this was the whole point of the trip to the guardhouse to get the helmet keys. Well good run. It's very slow but relaxed. And now, brace yourselves for a cutscene. The fuck is that? Sexy Wesky. Oh, I didn't want you to be. <laughs> Have you been? Wesker is a bean. I mean, save my ass first, then you guys. What do you think I'm doing? Dramatically walking, loading. You did nothing. I mean, go back to the other house. Yeah, I'm just going off. Fuck you, Jill. Still alive and shit. Squish those hornets. Fuck you. Fuck you. You too. Fuck you. All right. They're not gonna be. Uh, they're not gonna be procreating anytime soon. Giant hornets. I mean, sharks, snakes. I can take that. But fucking hornets. Are you mad, people? Um, this is where we're gonna end our um, session. Next week, we're gonna be fighting the hunters. <laughs> uh, yawn, fight two, and just explore the rest of the house. For now, we've had enough of zombie action. Well, mostly it was... Well, there were a couple of zombies in this episode, so... I'm bringing all of this. I'll need it. I'll need it badly. Both the bazooka and the shells. And... You know what? These, these were both blue and green. I could have... Are they? I need to check them. You're never, you can never be too sure. Wow, I could have gone... I could have been fucked royally if if I were really damaged. Wow, both are blue and green. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I have to examine them in order to be to be sure what color they are, because they kind of look the same, at least like in the stream, not as much, but on the TV, they do. 
Okay, leave that. Get the double green, maybe even red green. Well, another green just for good measure. Where are you? There we go. Let's take that one. The key, the shotgun, we have everything. And let's go for ink ribbon to do another save. I mean, like with the auto aim, it would be just so easy to go face the hunters, be like, fuck you, here's a bazooka in your face. But without it, it just looks silly. I think I'm aiming, and I often forget that she's not auto aiming, and I think I'm aiming, and it's. She just points the gun <laughs> in empty space. All right, Jill, save two. I have typed my progress in and that's it that's it for this week thank you for watching uh i'll catch you next week with resident evil uh, episode 3 we're going back to the mansion uh, facing the hunters and all the horrors there are there uh in the meantime you can catch my streams uh every weekday uh, same time 6 p.m um GMT, uh, British time, and uh, you can see the ads, the, uh, check my ads to see what time that actually is for you. You can also check my Mixer profile, where there's a schedule in a couple of time zones. Mm, during the weekdays, weekdays, I'll be streaming some more relaxed games, and on weekends we have Tesla's Current, which is, uh, right now it's Resident Evil. When we're done with Resident Evil, we're going to be going with Resident Evil 2. And then three, just to time it sometime around the Resident Evil 3 remake release. We're going to have so much fun. In the meantime, uh, stay safe. Bye for now.